These were Falun Gong protesters in Macau, China in the year 2000. News reports say the participants were later released. While Falun Gong has attracted millions of followers, its supporters say thousands of Falun Gong have been jailed and hundreds killed. How were they killed? And for what purpose? were troubling questions raised during a congressional subcommittee hearing in Washington, D.C. Human rights activists testified that the Chinese government is supporting the sale of organs from Falun Gong prisoners who have been executed. David Kilgore, a former Canadian cabinet minister, offered his testimony and co-authored a report on the situation. The government of China and its hospitals, detention centers and other agencies in numerous parts of the country has over the past half decade put to death a large but unknown number of Falun Gong prisoners of conscience. Most of the victims were convicted of nothing. They were murdered by medical professions for their vital organs. These organs uh, were virtually simultaneously seized for sale at high prices, often to foreigners. The study says 85% of organ transplants conducted in the hospitals in the Tianjin region were done on foreigners, possibly wealthy foreigners. A website for the China International Organ Transplant Center lists a kidney transplant as costing 65,000 U.S. dollars, a lung transplant 150,000 to 170,000 dollars, a heart transplant in the range of 130,000 to 160,000 U.S. dollars. The report indicates at least 60,000 transplants were performed in China from 2000 to 2005. Of that number, 18,000 were from non-prison sources. The rest were unexplained. Meanwhile, the Chinese news media reported 1,000 executions in 2002. The human rights organization Amnesty International says the number of executions may be as high as 15,000. The Chinese government outlawed Falun Gong in 1999. Falun Gong spokesman Erping Zhang insists the group has no political agenda and wants nothing more than to practice its beliefs peacefully. Under this circumstance, we have been left with no choice but to speak out. Our goal has been simple and singular to let our people, let other people, hear the, our side of the story and to expose those violating our rights and to, by doing so, end the genocide we face. The Chinese government says the report is based on false allegations. After it was released in July of 2006, China passed a law banning the sale of human organs and requiring written permission from donors. Yet the witnesses at the congressional hearing were skeptical that the practice has stopped and called for continued pressure on the Chinese government to end the practice of trafficking in human organs. Carol Pearson, VOA News.